Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of February 21st through February 28th for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back again in a couple of days. But tarot is sacred divination, so the readings really are timeless. Any reading really that you watch could be applicable. And um, I want to thank everyone who's subscribed. I really appreciate you. I think of you every day and hold you in my heart. And so thanks again for that. And if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join. Then you'll know when new readings are posted and any announcements are made on the channel. So let's begin and get the advice for Gemini, Sun, Moon, rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? All right. So we will begin with the tarot, and then we'll use the angel answers, oracle cards here. So you start off here with the king of pentacles, the six of swords, the six of pentacles, and the ace of pentacles, eight of pentacles, Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Jesus, a lot of money reading here. Wow. <laughs> and the Four of Cups. Look, I think if it's something work-related, you've got a new opportunity coming in here big time. Um, I do think you're going to walk away from something. It could be it could be relationship-related, too, even though Pentacles are about more the earthly material possessions and on that earthly plane. That is possible. I do feel like either way, it's walking away from a job or a relationship, but I, I feel like it, it you're, you've got a little bit of like almost a sense of nostalgia about it. Like it's kind of a little bit of a con conflict in some way with that, but we'll talk in a minute. So you've got definitely got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You've got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and you do have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Well, you've got the King of Pentacles. And I mean, this is that Midas of the tarot, right? Everything he touches turns to gold. You don't have a bad idea in this in this energy field. You, your ideas are, all ideas are good ideas and they're money-making ideas. So be aware of that. Now, for some of you, it may be about a mentor type of person or somebody, even a boss who has an opportunity for you. I see movement for somebody here. So it's possible that you get a job and there's a move and that's what that Three of Swords is about. So maybe there's a move and you have to end, you don't have to, but you choose to end a relationship. Or like I said, it's like a little bit of a, the twinge of sadness there is more about leaving people, friends, your family, whatever, and moving forward. Um, but it's not devastating and it's not out of your control, but it's just part of our human connection, you know. But when you start to see this, it's like your focus here, your focus with these pentacles or this energy you definitely have a payoff here. I mean, there's very solid, stable energy coming into your awareness here. And so with this um, Six of Swords being present and even the Six of Pentacles a little bit, it's this is moving forward. And part of it is on that spiritual path, right? And so if it's a relationship that you're leaving behind, it's really because it's just not a vibrational match and it's time to move forward. Um, for others of you, though, you know, they, they're together here, too. You've got a couple of cards, uh, again, that symbolize staying together. So you don't leave everything, but you're bringing something or someone with you. That's also possible that you're leaving a greater area. But again, you're still in a relationship um, with the folks that's really more about a job. But either way, this is a card of travel. It's a card of movement, but there's an emotional energy around it with all that water. And it's kind of like getting your feelings in alignment. Some some of you, there's, it's, you know, it's again, it speaks to you can have more than one feeling about the same thing. And it changes rapidly. And sometimes people ask readers, how come your readings change? And why, you know, why are there different storylines? Or why did this really resonate? And then it changed. Well, it may be that you changed and that it wasn't the cards as much as you use the cards in the way they're intended as a tool. And you changed something in your free will and it, it created a different path. It opened up a different area for you. So the Six of Pentacles, again, there's opportunities here. And you have somebody here that is trying to help you. I definitely see that. Um, so if this isn't, I, 
and I know this is going to sound strange and out of the blue, if this has anything to do with like recovery and leaving alcohol behind, I just keep getting, there's somebody here who wants to help you. And I know there's not really cards here that indicate addiction, but if that's you and you say, yeah, I've got an issue and I'm trying to get sober, I do feel like you got good people around you. And again, that may be one person here, but I want to acknowledge it. So you bring in balance here and it's reciprocity, but again, there's somebody that's got a little bit more giving here. And so if it's, a, if it's a job change and you're in a good relationship, they're giving you that grace. They're giving you that understanding that sometimes people are testy when they're in a new job and they're learning new things and they just aren't as maybe fun to be around all the time, right? Or maybe you're really excited. But again, they give you that grace to have moods as people do. So I love the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, talk about a big, beautiful new chapter showing up here for you. And I feel like whatever change you're making here is significant in your life path, but it's also affects other areas. So again, it may be that move and getting the house, but this is all really grounded, stable energy and it's developing in terms of um, there's more, you know what I mean? Like you take the job, but it leads you to the house and the neighborhood and the new friend group and the, and I could go on here. This opens doors up wide for you. So it really is a nice energy to have in a reading because it's abundance and it allows for more growth. Now in love too, again, there's new love here or there's love here. It's really about a new resource. It also can affect your health too. So I mentioned before, if it's a big change, I, I feel like it affects a lot of areas of your life. So especially for those of you that are moving, um, there's like a new opportunity for a gym or somebody to train you or to work with you in some way that helps you in health too. Or maybe it's even a new doctor. It's something like that though. You've definitely got good people around you and new opportunities. So with the eight of pentacles, you're focused on it. And really what's kind of nice about this is I feel like the manifestation, the main piece of this is coming along but it's like it's all these other side things that you've wanted or desired will show up because you're not you're not focused on the energy of them. It's almost like you forget and then all of a sudden there it is or there they are, right? So you're definitely moving forward with this laser focus kind of energy, bringing in money for sure. And, um, and having clarity, you know, having a vision for yourself. And it's like this vision for you that will develop. It's developing and it's on the way right now. And it's already here, really. It's accessible to you right now. So enjoy all those synchronicities as they show up. So I mentioned before, I feel like this Three of Swords has to do with that conflict of moving forward, but yet leaving something behind and feeling a little bit of nostalgia around it or a little bit of sadness. So again, if it's a job, it doesn't, it's not like you hate it. I don't feel that way. I feel like it's more like it's just time to move forward. Or if it's a relationship too, there's something about moving forward and it's time, you know it's time, but there's just a little part of your heart that you can, in your head, acknowledge this is the right thing to do, but the heart says something else. The heart says, but I still feel a little attached. So give time time on this because I do think that as you move forward here, you do have this five of pentacles, and again, this is not losing everything. They're together, but they're moving away from a larger group. So again, it's about moving forward with, still with, you know, attachments here, but there's something that you're separating from. I always think of the phrase, knock and the door will open when I see this card, ask and it will be given. Um, it really is about a card of opportunities of change and of being willing to kind of move forward regardless. So not, it's definitely not a stagnant energy. It's just that sometimes it can be read like it's the opposite, like you're being forced out into this. But I feel like in this reading, you're making a choice here to do some things differently. Or if your back was against the wall, you may have been forced to make a choice, but either way, it moves you forward. So the Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Four of Cups, excuse me, the Four of Cups here is a card of many offers. And some of you, I feel like you're so focused on this area that there may be other things that are showing up that you're just not that interested in. And it's like first things first, you know, I don't have time to be focused on all of these other things. It can be a little bit of boredom too, okay? So if it's in 
the relationship area or in a job area, there might be part of this old job that you're just not, or the old relationship that you're just not in sync with. So no matter how tr hard they try, how many cups they offer you, I don't see you turning back. I just don't see, it's like there's no turning back for you. You're going forward and you know, it doesn't mean that they can't change and lift their vibration to match yours, but I just feel like you are moving forward with this. And um, I, I think you're going to be happy though. I mean, I definitely think that, you know, part of why we want money is because it feels like freedom. It gives us the freedom to do things. And, and when we're in that free energy, boy, do we attract high vibrational stuff. And it's not just the Mercedes. It's not just the trips and all that. It's people too, right? It's people that make you laugh and, and they're fun and uplifting people because you're uplifted. So let's see about the timeline here for Gemini. And a yes, no, maybe. All right, you've got remain positive. So if there's something here that, again, you're, you've got a little bit of overthinking associated with the swords, then they tell you just having that positive feeling because your feelings are the secret to the manifestations, all right? That's really the key to it because the universe will always hear your heart. So if you've got something in your heart that's conflicting, the universe will hear that and then set up situations to match it. So you've got if you believe and so ask, believe, receive. You know, I recently listened to... Um, I'm going to get off a minute here. I'm sorry. A lot of you listen to Abraham and they talk about 17 seconds to manifest. And after 68 seconds, you've created a vibration that will set you up. Well, that comes from physics. I recently heard um, uh, one of the creators of Psych K explaining it in depth in a way that Abraham does not. It really is a physics thing. So again, changing your mind if you've got something in here. It's, that was a long story to get you to understand that, right? But you know what I mean. It really is important because you'll start manifesting situations after 68 seconds. So you've got abundance here. And so, like I said, with that Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely abundance and prosperity. You've got perfect timing. So the time is now for you, Gemini. And you've got a yes. This one keeps showing up. As hard as I try to get a mix, they give you what they want you to see. So you create your own reality. You can have, do, or be anything, Gemini. Good things are coming for you. There is a change here. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.